Welcome back to Mega Man 3 Wily Wars version as part of the Channel 84 reruns. To start with, we're in the first level of Wily's castle, and the bald buffoon is actually nice enough to give us a free life here. One more time. Thanks, pal. Alright, now the assault can truly begin. Got more of these bouncing top guys, which, which is fine. I mean, they're not really that big of a threat. I mean, I did take a hit there, but at the same time... Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot he stops firing if too many accumulate on the screen. And an energy tank. How nice. And now we're in the sewers. But I gotta be careful because we got some pushy penguins. And they are fast! They throw much like nothing. But I'm okay. The nice thing about this level is along the way you can actually pick up some really good items. Like right there. There's another free life. And just upstairs is another energy tank. Which I'm definitely going to pick up because... Given the way things have been going with me lately, I'm going to need every ounce of energy I can get my hands on. Alright, time to call out my pooch pal. Now we'll get that. Yeah, all this back and forth, it's um... It's crazy. Alright, back up. But first, back to my main gun. Uh, whatever. Skip by him. What? Ah, come on! Takes forever and a day to kill these guys. They seem to go a lot slower than their Nintendo counterparts. And I don't really feel like messing with him, so yeah. I'm just gonna use Rush Jet and skip over him. Okay, that was weird. Okay, that works. And just that, we're done. Okay. I'll fill up Rush Coil because that one's uh, taking a bit of a hit. And I guess I'm filling up Rush Dead again. Okay. And I also remember that Shadow Blade is this boss's weakness. Alright, here we go. That's all it takes is one Shadow Blade to drop these turtles. Way too easy. Five shots, and we're golden. One down, five to go. I know I said five to go, but obviously the old trickery of Dr. Wily is strong in this game. So even though there seems there are five levels, trust me, there's a sixth. Alright. This level is not too long. Oh, and I see there's a free life there. Not like I really need it. So we're just gonna continue on our way. Ah. Damn. Where's the can of bug spray when you need it? Okay. Okay, so I can't really cheat out the B. Ah. Just. Duh. Ah. This is getting really, really stupid. Thank you. Ugh. Finally, Magnet Missile is useful for something. Alright. Quick refill. 
thank you. Oh, I saw another one. Wait, I gotta make sure that's topped up as well. Okay, so let's see what else needs filling up. Yeah, I might as well fill up the magnet missile because it might come in handy later. But for now, put on the hard knuckle because we're already at the boss. Alright, bring it on. Once again, we are treated to the presence of the Yellow Devil. Of course, this version of the Yellow Devil is an absolute joke. In honesty, he's not that bad. He gives you a lot more leeway when compared to the first game. Okay, good, I got two hits on him. Oh, that was actually really good, too. Okay, one more shot, and he's down. He seems mighty weak. Alright, you know what? Put you down for good, pal. And that's it. Another one in the books. Off to round three. Eventually. That's probably my one of my biggest beefs with the game is the intolerable waiting. I mean, I like the eerie nature of this music in particular on the um, castle screen, but at the same time... Uh, it's not pleasant just waiting for the game to actually kick in. All right, whatever, I'm going to let you live. You, on the other hand... Yeah, not today. Goodbye. Another one? Wow. This game must really want me to win. Thank you, Brush. Now we'll go back to my main gun. Ah. Back off, pal. Okay. Okay, come on. Let me go, thank you. Pointless hammer, Joe. Oh. Ah. Alright, you know what? That's actually a good warning sign. Come on, out of here. All right. Oh, yes, in this part. This is actually not too bad. And this part's just as simple. Oh, maybe not. But I'm okay. Sweet. We're already there. All right, let's see what kind of goodies I can get out of these. But I gotta say, I am using a lot of hard knuckles, so... That could be bad. Pointless. Ooh! That'll make it for the one I had to squander. Alright, time to pull out the snakes, because... It's time for a rematch with Coffee Mega Man. Times three. Are you serious? Are you absolutely serious? I didn't take a hit. And he was right in front of me the whole time. The only real difference is, in the Nintendo version, there's no invulnerability period for the guy. You can just keep on pelting him with shots. I'm not gonna argue it though, because let's face it, that was damn good. And now we've reached the obligatory boss rush level. Ah, perfect. Just the thing to refill my hard knuckles. What? There we go. Let's see. 
I might as well top off the snakes. Okay. Before we get to the boss rush, a little bit of fighting. I don't believe that. And this will be perfect for topping off my Shadow Blades. Ooh, man, this thing makes these guys look like chump change. Excellent! You know, honest to god, I had no idea that Shadow Blades ripped those junk robots down to size all that fast. Well, I suppose it's uh, something you learn every day. Okay, so here we are. We enter the teleporter, and we will be facing off with the Robot Masters once again. And no surprise, as with each Mega Man project I do, it's going to be a sped-up montage. If I'm not mistaken, this guy is Needle Man, so I'll put on the Gemini laser. And... I'll see you on the other side. Nothing to it. In fact, I'm actually surprised that the Magnet Missile worked against Hardman a little more effectively than the first time. But whatever, that was then, this is now. A free life for my troubles and four weapon energy capsules of the small variety. Hmm, looks like um, a lot of my stuff is in pretty good order. But let's uh, retop up the Hard Knuckle as best we can. Well, if I can get up there. Okay, there we go. You know what? All things considered, the way things are going, this is going to be the grand finale of this rerun. I mean, in this one it's just fighting Dr. Wily, and I've pretty much got him figured to a science. It's kind of pointless for me to refill this, but at the same time, I might as well. Refill the needle cannon. Ah, yeah, whatever. Let's just get to fighting time. Get the spark ready. And bring out the machine. Nice! Cannon's down, and Wily is exposed. Now, normally you'd be expected to use the hard knuckle on this guy, but at the same time, Rush Jet is his other weakness. Come on, die that! There we go! And that was flawless, too! But look how much of a beating Rush Jet took. I'm almost out of it. And of course, the old fake out. I mean, that scene is pretty much burned into my brain as far as iconic video game stuff, but... Ah, uh, the waiting. Tom Petty had it right. The waiting is the hardest part.
another free life, and another energy tank. I mean, how much more can this game expect to give me? Well, since I'm here, I might as well collect it. Let's fly. Alright, there we go. Now to open up these surprise boxes and see what's inside them. Whole lot of nothing. Alright, time to face off with Gamma and put this game to bed once and for all. Again. Alright, so... The first form of Gamma, you can use either the Hard Knuckle or the Shadow Blades. There we go. Heads down, so now we put on the good old top spin. Hey. He's actually firing more shots this time. Incredible. One top spin takes Gamma down. And ladies and gentlemen, Mega Man 3 has been defeated once again. Oof. Where's Dr. Wily? Oh no! Too late! Uh, I'm sorry. Just seeing Dr. Light do that in this version, I... I can't take it seriously. And that skin tone makes him look... unlike Dr. Light. And yes, the truth is revealed that Proto Man saved Mega Man and is indeed Mega Man's brother. And for some reason, the first six robots that we faced in the first game are on display here. I never understood why that was. If somebody in the comments wants to enlighten me on this one, please, by all means. I'm always eager to learn some new things. Anyway, the game is done, and after we're done with this little cutscene, we're actually going to see the rest of the Robot Masters from this game on full display. And of course, the end credits. And they listed Proto Man as a new robot prototype. And there's Dr. Wily, proving that he survived and we'll come back with a vengeance. Alright folks, that wraps up yet another Channel 84 rerun. I tell ya, as good as Mega Man 3 is, on the whole, this version has way too many problems for me to even take it seriously. I'm sorry, but I, I gotta stick with the Nintendo version of this game, plain and simple. If you like this version, fine, everyone's different, but me, I can't get behind it. Not in the least. Anywho, thank you very much for watching this one, and in the next little while, I'm actually going to be trying to crank out some more Super Mario Galaxy 2. I've got the green stars to find in that game, and... Well, I do have something coming up in my personal life, and I'll explain that once I make that video. Or at least next week when I start uploading the rest of the Super Mario Galaxy 2 videos. But I'm starting to ramble. Here are the credits, and I'm going to... Pretty much cap it for the for now. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. It's like I've been drinking too much coffee or something. Anyway, until next time, my name is JP, this is Channel 84 Winnipeg, and as always, see you cool cats on the flip side. Not so fast, folks. Look what we got. Having beaten Mega Man 1, 2, and 3, we have unlocked a hidden game called Wily Tower. Future Let's Play? You better believe it. 
But as promised, I'm going to continue with Super Mario Galaxy 2, and we'll cover this at another time. Anyway, now we're done. Later!